Alrighty, here we have Rescue Chronicles and the Curse of Destiny being played on Switch, courtesy of uh, Consolog. I want to thank them for the uh, re opportunity. This is both a 2D uh, side scrolling platformer as well as a 3D uh, platformer. Pretty unique uh, blend of, of uh, gameplay styles, which is pretty cool. So you play as this uh, awesome explorer guy here that has a gun, has a set of bombs. And is tasked with traversing these stages um, and getting through them. Um, I like the cartoony look to the game. Um, I like the simplicity of the game. The game's pretty simple, easy to pick up. Um, and honestly, quite honestly, pretty easy to put down. Um, and I say that because of the simple fact that this game gets tedious very quickly uh, because of how slow your character moves. This is as fast as he can move. He can't move any faster. You can't run. You have a knife attack, which is nice. And that's the bomb attack, but you have no option to run. There's no run button. Uh, there's you can there's an X button, but it's absolutely useless because it doesn't do anything. Um, you have no button to run. And you have a little bit of ammo. Once you're in a, out of ammo, you're you're done. That's it. Which is why you have the knife uh, knife button. Oh come on. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. You can kill yourself with your own bombs. Really, really silly. And you can't break the vases, which I think is kind of very odd. I do like how both you and the enemies are one hit, had one hit kills, though. Now, I chose to start the game with nine lives. As you can see, we're down to two. Imagine if you only had three, you'd be, you'd be way dead by now. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it gets tedious because of how slow the character moves. I mean, yeah, the more you play, the more you can get used to that. But it still, to me, is a hindrance to the overall experience because... Again, the character moves so slow. Now you can learn to compensate for it. Don't get me wrong; it's, it's definitely, you know, it's definitely doable. But you shouldn't have to. You should be able to move much faster than you can. And the music kind of gets repetitive as well, uh, especially with how long these uh, stages can be. It's not bad, it just gets a little bit tedious is all. And again, you can't run. So you can go as close to the saw blade as you can. And even then, I thought I was not too close. Then I probably proved myself wrong there. But, uh, yeah, another thing is, is it appears that you have a larger hitbox than you should. It's almost like it's just around the character, not just the character itself, which is kind of... Um, Bad design, in my, in, in my opinion. Either that or maybe the saw blades have a larger hit radius. Um, that could be too. I've really only noticed it with the uh, saw blades. But, uh, graphically, the game looks good. Uh, the gameplay is solid. Uh, I just wish that the character can move faster than he can because he doesn't move very fast at all. He moves like he he moves as if he's like a 70, 80 year old man. And he's traversing these these you know these temples and caverns and things when he should be retired in his sitting chair in front of his TV or something instead of <laughs> trying to traverse these these caverns and get this treasure. He just moves so slow. But again, you can compensate for it if you know the mechanics of the stages, which, which leads me to believe, leads me to my next statement is that um, the uh, the stages are going to be. Oh yeah, I forgot you can't cut the snakes. Um, the stages are going to be repetitive because you're going to have to do them over and over and over again to learn the patterns of the traps um, and the uh, uh, enemies. And you can't. I mean, again, the, the, the snakes have a larger hit, larger hitbox than than they should. Um, so I guess, I guess maybe it's anyways. It's a problem. 
Um, the enemies, the saw blades, the traps, they all have larger hitboxes than they should. They allow you to be far enough away where you think you would get damaged, but yet here you go, you get damaged and you die. So, um, the way to kill the snakes is to use the bombs. But again, be careful because the bombs can kill you too. So, there you have it. Well, anyway, this has been a look at uh, Risky Chronicles on uh, Switch by a console log. I want to thank them for the opportunity. Uh, I would suggest checking this game out. Uh, I just understand that <laughs> it's going to be a somewhat frustrating experience. This was for me. Uh, it doesn't mean it's a bad game. It's just it's tedious one and one that is going to be one I'll be coming back to periodically. Not something I can just sit down for and play um, for uh, long periods of time without rage quitting. But uh, well, we're going to be here. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And see you next time. Take care and happy gaming.